Proficiency in Sentence Writing, Lesson 6, an introduction. On Lesson 5, what you had were SVV sentences. What you have here is SSVV sentences. You need to account for both sub subjects in the one sentence and both verbs in that one sentence. And these are both main verbs. There's two separate verbs. It's a pair of verbs. Pair of subjects, pair of verbs. You'll notice that the subjects are always before the verbs. So you're not going to end up with SSVVS or some, some madness like that. So it's always going to be SSVV. All right. So um, just uh, eliminating some things here. So SSVV is the structure. So you'll notice on the example up here, S is Lydia. Lenore is the next S. There's an and between them. That's what happens when you have a pair of things. Played is the first verb. Soccer is not a verb. That's just the thing that she played, that they played. And then made is a second verb. There's an and right here. That's When you have pairs of things, you're going to have an and. You might have or. I guess you could have the word but. Anyway, you typically have and. So let's let's do the first one. So ponies is the first subject. There's two words in that complete subject, but you you need to narrow it down to the one word that is the main subject. So ponies and then calves is the second verb. There's the word and between them just like up here. There's a pair of subjects. The next next thing you do is identify the first verb, scampered. That's easy. It's a one word verb. It's the complete verb, as they say in the instructions. It just happens to only be one word. And then the word and, so that tells you you got something else. Then it just happens to be a, um, a pair of things, scampered and played. So now you have a pair of verbs so, with the structure of SSVV. Okay, some things uh, that uh, make these difficult are over here, and they come up in this second one. First subject is Kathy, real easy. The second subject is father. Kathy and her father, the one word of this subject is going to be father. Now, the word not is an adverb. It's not a verb. So this is a multi-word verb. Do like is the verb. Why I'm in purple, I don't know. From the last video, I think. There's the first verb, do like. Kathy and her father do like. And then to play tennis, it says over here, two plus a verb is junk, not the main verb of a sentence. So you can always cross that out, but you need to be careful. Once you see the word and, that could be another verb for the sentence. So I'm just going to eliminate the junk up to that point. So then Kathy and her father do like to play tennis. And I believe the way that you should identify the second verb is not to just say the second verb is hate. You should identify it as do hate. And that is something that maybe on lesson lesson five you understood. That's how it should be here. Um, this word do is being borrowed to form hate. You've got a consistent kind of way of, of forming the verbs here. So do like and do hate. Kathy and her father do like and do hate. There's your SSVV. Watch out for these, um, these tricky things. That's it.